stop. This hole caused an entire tournament to be canceled. Via Brentley Row Mine of Golf Channel, the slope caused the outing to be abandoned. The frustrations mounted, the NCAA had to act, and they did. There is a way, however, via Golf Digest. It was a 308 par 4 at Mission Inn and Resorts El Campeon course in Florida. The coaches said the hole was too severe to be played after being cut on a 5% slope on the right side of the putting surface. The staff at the course tried watering it down. But nothing changed. At 8 p.m. Eastern Time, the decision was made via Golf Channel. The committee decided the inevitable. Revert the championship back to 36-hole scores, and with more thunderstorms in the forecast for Friday, shorten the event to 54 holes. On the 5% slope from the course, Golf.com would note most greens see a max of a 3% slope to keep greens quick, but not unplayable. Romine who took the original video you saw, the first video in this piece. This was the eighth time this championship has been hosted at Mission Inn. From people I've talked to, this hole is notorious. Also, the par 517th is silly. It requires a third shot over water. Oh, and a big oak tree before the water. He'd add the average score on the hole, was playing more than a full shot and a half over par when play was called. Essentially, the NCAA was in wait-and-see mode until they saw the videos that were popping up. 29 players had made triple or worse. The committee would then see all this, hear all this, and make the following statement. Throughout round three on Thursday, and despite efforts to improve conditions, it became apparent that the pin placement on hole six was unplayable. After play was suspended due to lightning late Thursday, the committee analyzed numerous different options on how to complete the tournament in the time allocated. With the announcement made, tourney scores went back to the standings through 36 holes. The cut was made based off that, with 14 of 29 teams being eliminated. The committee decided to allow an additional six individuals to advance to Friday's third and final round. Rogue Golf Week, a cut was also made to the top 15 teams, meaning 14 others were eliminated before the final round based on 36 holes. The NCAA Division III Women's Golf Committee chose six individuals not on advancing teams to play in Friday's final round. Important to note, the NCAA picks the pin locations, not the course. One coach spoke with Romine and expressed their frustration. They should have known not to put the hole there. They just said they were sorry and they felt bad. He added there were four other locations he questioned. 